Hi guys! Do you plan to apply PoE technology and fiber optic cabling to set up a robust network that can withstand the toughest industrial condition? Now gone are the days of the struggling to power your demanding devices and dealing with complex cabling. In this YouTube video, I'm going to explore the industrial fiber switch with 90 watts PoE capability and guide you through the process of selecting the right components and install it properly for ultimate performance. And if you have any questions or need assistance with your system design, please don't hesitate to reach out to us using the link provided in the description box below. And we are eager to help you to solve any problem that you might encounter for completely free of charge. So we know our fiber optic network is a high-speed data transmission system that utilizes optical fibers, which are made out of glass to transmit data in a form of light signal. It can carry significantly higher amount of data at a faster speed over longer distance, so making them ideal for high bandwidth application. Now let's talk about PoE. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. It can provide both power and data to the edge devices using a single Ethernet cable, which can eliminate the need for a separate power unit. Now, PoE technology has become widely adopted in various applications, including office buildings, smart homes, and industrial settings, where it can simplify the deployment and enhance network connectivity by providing both power and data over a single Ethernet cable. So now let's move on to the demonstration board and I will show you how to do the setup for today. So now we are in front of the demonstration board. As you can see, we are going to use this PoE switch to connect with a high power PTZ camera and a high power wireless access point. Now our standard PoE can typically provide up to 30 watts of power, when high power PoE can deliver significantly higher power levels often up to 60 watts or more. And this industrial PoE switch has up to 90 watts of power for per port and it's also compatible with a 2.3 BT standard which can provide advanced power management capability with wide range of devices that require more power such as the IP camera with advanced features while as SS point with multiple radios or a video conferencing system Let's take a closer look at this industrial managed PoE switch. It has 8 1000M PoE ports and also 4 1000M SFP slots. It is compatible with IEEE A02.3 AF, AT, and BT standard, and for each port, can provide up to 90 watts of power maximum. And it has hardened grade rugged IP40 aluminum housing. The working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees, and it adopts dual DC power input for redundancy and achieve higher stability for system operation. So we can apply this managed switch for a harsh industrial application that requires accurate control, high-level security for data switching, as well as real-time data monitoring from remote end. And it can also achieve effective managed and convenient maintenance for a PoE++ network system via EC installation. So over this side, we have the Managed Fiber Ethernet Switch. Now this is a comprehensive device that features gigabit network speed and uplink speed. It has high security and flexibility on application or installation, allow for remote management and improve efficiency for evolving business need. Now let's take a closer look. It has 8 1000M RJ45 Ethernet port and 8 1000M SFP fiber slot port. And those two are 1 gigabit SFP plus fiber slot ports. 
And this enable installers to obtain long distance fiber with high speed network for installing various IP devices. And also when a network becomes more complex, this higher level of management is required. That's why we need to use a managed switch to create a fully optimized network to achieve more than basic needs. So this is will be the perfect choice to use at a central point, such as the data center or a monitoring room. And without saying, let's do the whole connection together. So let's use a short patch cord to connect our main network router with the NVR. And the NVR is already connected to the monitor. And using another Ethernet cable to connect our main network router with the manage switch and power it up from the back and we can see the indicated lights are getting on this is the SFP transceiver and this is where you connect with the fiber optic cable and this is usually sold separately because it has to determine what kind of connector that we're using let's plug it into the SFP slot this is the pre-made fiber optic cable that we're using so we don't need to worry about the connector and we have two strings, let's use string A and leave string B for spare use. And it's 100% tested in the factory. Let's plug it in. And it's connected using the fiber optic cable. This is 100 meter. And let's come over to this side. We have the industrial PoE switch. Let's plug in the SFP port transceiver and use, remember, string A and plug it in here to connect with the switch. And over here we have the power supply unit. And make sure you choose the suitable power supply unit. This industrial 48 volts DC power supply has continuous 480 watts of power value. Now it has also featuring rugged metal housing and a superior reliability under comprehension protection. So it's perfect for industrial application in a harsh environment. Let's plug it in first to get power for our PoE switch. And you can see the indicated lights are getting on. Let's use Ethernet cable to connect with our PTZ camera. Let's plug it in here and give it some time to run. And using another Ethernet cable here to connect with the wireless access point. Let me plug it in. It takes a little bit of time because we just plug in the power supply and we can see it is moving and the indicator light is on. We only need a single Ethernet cable to power up our devices. And let's take a look at the PDZ camera. With my hand moving, we can see this is a live video. So the whole setup is done now. And also this industrial PoE switch support fast fail over ring. And so you can build a reliable system with the ERPS technology. And you don't need to worry about losing the data if one of the connector switch is down. And here's a video on how to build a ring network using the fiber switch for reliable networking. And thank you so much for watching us today and I'll see you next time.